Okay, I'm going to go over how to add products to your store. Uh, this will just be a quick overview. I will send you written instructions as well, but I thought it might be helpful to actually see it being done. So after you log in, you'll be at the dashboard of your store admin, your website admin, and you want to go over to products, and when the flyout menu comes out, click on add product to create a new one. Now there are three basic types of products or at least three that you'll be using primarily, the simple product, variable product, and the product bundle. So we'll start with the simple product uh, first, and we'll, I'll go ahead and do an emergency pack, um, since you will be selling those as uh, replacements, um, and it's a very simple product. It doesn't have any options. It's just uh, one product for one price. So first you add the, the name of the product. So We'll call it an emergency pack, very descriptive. Uh, now this area is where the long descrip description goes, and um, you can get as verbose as you want here. Uh, usually the more information the better, but um, for now I'm just going to put this is the description. Okay, so moving on down. Um, the default product is a simple product. Uh, if it's not selected, then you'll want to select simple product. And first thing you do is give it a price. I don't know how much these are going to sell for, so I'll just say five dollars. Uh, you can add a sale price if you want to, and uh, then you can tell it when the sale starts and when it ends. Uh, but we'll go ahead and remove that now. Uh, the weight and dimensions, this is for shipping, and this doesn't really pertain to you uh, since you're going to be shipping through the USPS. Uh, it, so I wouldn't worry about it. You can put it in if you want to, um, but you probably don't even know how much it weighs. So at this point, we'll just skip it. Uh, moving over to the taxes tab. You probably aren't going to change this ever, uh, but just know this there. You can change the tax status and the tax class. On the inventory, you can have the store manage your stock, and that way um, you tell it how much how much inventory you have of a product, and then when it sells, then it re, you know it removes one from the inventory, so it won't oversell something. Uh, you can choose to do that or not. Uh, if you choose to manage the stock, then you have to put in your initial quantity. Um, you can also set whether an item is in stock or out of stock. And you can also set whether to allow back orders. So if it's out of stock, it'll allow someone to go ahead and order it, but uh, it'll tell them that it's back ordered. So I'm going to clear that for now since I don't know if you'll be using this. And you can always go back and manage the stock later. You don't have to set it up to begin with. Shipping, uh, the, since you're using one kind of shipping that's not doesn't really pertain to your products. Um, related products, this is kind of interesting. For upsells, uh, this is something, someone adds something to, to their cart and then it will say, hey, you might like this better. Uh, you know, presumably it would be something that, that is a higher profit margin for you. Um, a cross sell means when they add something to their cart, then it says, hey, you might also be interested in this. So, uh, for instance, uh, they buy a purse, you might do a cross-sell with the emergency pack, you know, a spare emergency pack. Um, so what you do to do this, you just start typing in something, uh, and it will show you the products that, uh, that match. It's basically a search field. Then you can just select the product. Um, we'll go ahead and delete that for now. Attributes doesn't really pertain to uh, simple products. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more on the variable products. And then on the advanced tab, you can put a note that uh, the customer will see after they purchase it. Um, this is all completely optional. You can adjust the order of how the products appear uh, using the menu order. You know, if if a, a product is zero on the menu order and another product is one, then the, the product with that's marked as zero will appear first. Uh, don't worry about grouped products. You probably won't be using that. You can also enable reviews. This allows you know someone on the site to post a review about the product, kind of like they do on Amazon. Uh, you can enable or disable it. It's, it's enabled by default, uh, but that's completely up to you. 
Okay, moving on down, the short description is, uh, this actually shows up next to the product on the product page, and it can be exactly the same as the long description if you like, or it can be, you know, something shorter. Uh, I'll leave that up to you, but I'll just put short description for now. Well, try that again. Okay, so that's all that you have to worry about in this main column. Then we'll go back up to the top here. In the publish box, you can save a draft and it automatically saves. It'll do an auto save every couple of minutes. Um, but you can manually save a draft. That just saves what you've done but doesn't publish it. Um, you can also click preview, which will open up a new window to show you how it looks. Um, the visibility. You probably won't want to use this, but you can. It's there. If it's public, then everybody can see it. If it's password protected, you enter a password, then only people that have the password can actually see it. Or private means only you can see it and nobody else. You're probably going to always want it to be public. Uh, you can also set when you want the product to appear on the site. So if you wanted, you know, if you were working ahead, you had some new product and you it wasn't going to be on the site until a week from now, but you want to go ahead and set it up, you could set the, the publish date for a week from now. now catalog visibility, this is important. Um, there are several options here. The catalog search, which is the default, means that it will show up on the site um, on category pages and people can search and find it. Now, If you just choose catalog, it'll show up on the site on the category pages, but it will not show up on search. So if somebody searched for emergency pack, it would not show up. Uh, on, conversely, you can now have it only show up on search or you can have it hidden, um, which means that it will never show up anywhere on the site. You might do that if you were bundling something with the, with the purse, for instance, that uh, you didn't want people to be able to buy separately. Um, we'll leave it on the default catalog search for now. You can also click featured product. When this is clicked, this means that the product will show up on the home page. Um, and that's the only thing that affects the home page display. So we won't put this on the home page. Um, don't worry about SEO for now. Categories, I've set up three categories. Uh, you can set up more if you like. Um, this is emergency packs, so we'll put it in that category. Product tags, you probably don't need to worry about since you don't have a huge uh, diversity of products, but you can if you want. Um, it's basically a search term or a, a descriptor for the, for the product. Now, uh, the featured image, I don't have an image of the emergency pack, so I will skip that for now. This is something you'll normally want to do, but um, since I don't have an image, I'll show you that in, in a minute. So this is all done. We'll go ahead and preview it just to see what it looks like. Flip over to this tab. So this is what the product page looks like. You can see this is the name of the product. This is where the photo would be if it had one. The price, the short description. Down here is the long description. Um, and then also reviews if there were any. So we'll say that that looks fine and we'll go ahead and publish it. So that means that it's live on the site and can be purchased. Now, uh, a variable product is what you're going to use for panties. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to add a product and we will do, since I only have a picture of the hipster panties, We'll do that. Again, uh, you can put in a description. You know better than I do, so I'm just going to put description. And here you will select variable product. This is uh, a lot like the, the simple product. Most of the tabs are the same, except that you can't put in a price at first. Um, everything else is the same until you get to attributes. Now, I've set up the attributes, which are all the available sizes and colors for panties. So, um, we'll choose panty size first and then click add. <clears throat> now, the easiest, there's two ways to do this. You can click in the field and then select, these are the sizes, the available sizes. 
it's easier I think to select all and then if it's not available in a particular size you can delete it um, you can do it either way now you do want this visible on the product page otherwise they can't select the size and you want them to be able to select the size you also also want to use this for variations so we also want to add oh, the color and again I've already added these attributes so you don't have to worry about adding them we'll say it's available in all size in all colors and now this is important you have to go up to save draft and save it after you've added the attributes then you can come back down here and go to variations now by default there's no they can they can select any panty size there's not one selected for them and same for color um, first thing you want to do is add a variation now if all panty sizes and all colors are exactly the same price uh, and stock and all of that then you can just do this once uh, it's very easy uh, stock again you don't have to put in a stock quantity only if you want it to track it price again I don't know the price I'll just put five dollars and the same sale price you can do that the same as with the on the simple product um, you can enable or disable this particular variation um, you can also add a, a uh, picture for this particular variation. So if you added a variation for all white panties, for example, then you could upload a, a photo of the white panties. This will override the featured image, which I'll show you in just a second. So this is, I know this is a little bit confusing, but basically think of it, it's, you set the different variations, all the different variations that the product can have. And with panties, that's quite a bit because there's all the different sizes and colors. Um, so, but again, if they're all the same, then you only have to have a single variation, and that's where you set the price. Uh, short product description. Again, you can put what you want in there. And um, all of this is the same. We'll put it in the panties category. Um, and now, set the featured image, which is the image that will show up on the site. You can select an image that's already in the library, uh, or you can upload an image. This one is already uploaded, so I'm just going to select it. And you can see it appears over here, and then you set featured image, and there it is. So we can preview that and see what it looks like. And here it is. They can select the size and the color and that's, that you set up as the variation. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that and I think I will save the product groups, I mean the, the uh, bundled products for another video. Uh, this is what you'll use for purses and it's probably the most important and potentially the most confusing. So uh, I will save that for the next video. One thing I should probably mention, uh, I'm talking about adding new products, but if you want to edit a product then you just go to products and it will show you all of the products that are available. Um, you can sort them by name, by stock, uh, whether in stock or out of stock, price, categories, uh, the star means featured. Um, so anyway, uh, you can just, the easiest thing is just to click on some, click on it. Don't worry about the, the drop down quick edit. Um, then it's back to the same screen that we've been looking at before. Then you edit it. You can preview the changes and or update it.